Yeah, just that a little bit. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. We actually accidentally went live twice at 2 p.m. the first time. I don't know if you guys were on there. I hope you weren't. It's 10 minutes of me figuring out that I'm live. It was 10 minutes? 10 seconds. Oh, Sorry. wow. I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, my name is Gabby. And I'm Mike. And we are the Kia Hyundai channel. Every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do a full walkthrough interior and exterior of a brand new Kia or Hyundai vehicle. We also do a bunch of other fun videos, and we do these videos for three reasons. So, Mike, what are those three reasons? All right. So, the first reason is if you do own a Kia or a Hyundai and you want to learn more about your vehicle, obviously, this is a one-stop shop. Uh, we go from anything from exterior to performance to convenience to safety to technology. Uh, the second reason is if you are in a market for a Kia or a Hyundai, let us help you make your decision, right? Uh, by obviously tuning into this channel. Again, everything I said we offer before is something that is a, of great value to anyone looking for a vehicle and wants to see everything in one, in one place. Uh, the third reason is if you decided to buy a Kia or a Hyundai, why not buy from us? So we've got three locations. We're here at Central Studio, Brantford Kia, where we film. Bradford Hyundai down the street, which I work at, and up north we have Owentown Hyundai. And obviously all three dealerships would love to serve you, uh, welcome you into the family, help you out in choosing a car and maintaining it. And again, if you live in Ontario and you want to buy a Kia or Hyundai, uh, we hope you come to us. Mike, thank you for taking over because right now I'm trying so hard not to laugh. Um, <laughs> a couple of our regulars are on right now and I guess they caught that little 10 second me not realizing we were live clip. Right. Did they mention it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, it's deleted now. That was so embarrassing. Anyway, so I'm going to start off with a walkthrough of the exterior, and then we'll talk about the interior as well. And in all of our live videos, we always dedicate the last, I want to say, five to usually ten minutes, just dedicated to answering your guys' questions live. So one of the main beauties of doing this video live in person is you get to see us mess up, you get to ask us questions, and we get to answer your questions, see what you love about the car, see what you don't understand, and see what you want to know more of. So Mike, can you show us how? To join or live? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Should I have messed up there? Because that's the first thing you opened with. <laughs> you get to see us mess up. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So what you want to do to catch us live is go to the Kia Hyundai channel on YouTube. It should look a little something like this. And then if it's a weekday at around 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time under our home tab or a live tab, you'll see a video listed with today's vehicle and it says upcoming. So all you have to do is click on that. It'll load you in. You may have to watch an ad. But this is where your live chat's going to be, and that's where you guys can ask us questions and let us know what you want to see in the video, or let us know to undelete the <laughs> mess up video I made. All right, I will uh, give a forewarning. I have really bad allergies, so my voice sounds weird. I don't always sound like this if you guys are new here. Wait, what are we shooting? Did we mention that? Oh, yet? oh my gosh. Oh, it's wow. a 2023 Hyundai Kona Essential front yes. wheel drive. So go. you can also get this exact trim level. So all the same equipment with an all wheel drive system if you desire. But today we're going to focus on this guy. So under the hood, you have a two liter four cylinder MPI gasoline engine with 147 horsepower and three or not 300, 132 pound feet of torque. 300 pound feet would be quite interesting mm -hmm. in this vehicle. <laughs> Um, tied to that, we have an IVT transmission, so that stands for Intelligent Variable Transmission. Makes this vehicle a very, very smooth shifting vehicle, very smooth drive, and very fuel efficient. I'm going to start the car up, not Wait. the engine though. Keys. Mike, you didn't leave the keys in the car? Well, I got afraid because they are actual. You have to put the key in the ignition, yes. so I got afraid it would lock. So key to ignition on the essential trim. If you want to push start with remote start, you have to move up to the preferred trim level here in Canada. But let's get the ignition on. I won't turn over the engine though. Turn the fan off. And then we got those lights on. So immediately you guys should see that we have a beautiful LED daytime running light right up here. Your actual headlight unit though is a halogen bulb. So this is still a very, very bright headlight. However, because it's not an LED, it does emit a little bit of heat, meaning in the winter it will melt snow and ice off your headlight unit, which is, I don't know, pretty handy if you ask me. Down here, we have our beautiful blacked out grille, some nice trim pieces along the front bumper. And this vehicle may not seem very techy at first glance, but let me tell you for an entry level trim on the Kona, we have so many tech and safety features that will blow your mind. So let's talk about it. All right, moving up here, this is gonna be kind of awkward to film, but inside our windshield, we do have a camera situated right in the center. And that picks up the lanes ahead of you and keeps your vehicle centered in your lane. It'll warn you if you're starting to depart to the left or the right, 
um, giving you a beep inside, but it'll also correct you. On top of that, there's also a steering assistant, so it won't ping pong you in your lane. It'll actually see what's coming up ahead, whether it's a curve in the road or just a little divot or swivel, and your vehicle will actually steer for you. It'll take those curves. You can take your hands off the wheel, but for a long period of time, you do have to keep your hands on the wheel. <laughs> it's not a full self-driving car. Now down here on our actual wheels, we have 16 inch aluminum alloy. So I think they look pretty stunning. With the black exterior paint, I think they really pop. However, there's so many colors you can get in the Kona that really make it a fun, unique, funky vehicle. Now coming to the side, we have a little turn signal indicator on your mirror. No blind spot detection in this trim level. You'd have to move up to the preferred again, but let's talk about pricing. Mike, I'll let you handle this. There we go. So this comes in at a very great value of 22,899. That's Canadian. Um, and the fuel rating is 7.4 liters per 100 kilometers. That's city and highway mix. So again, we're going into student season, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, this is definitely a great car to look at. So I'm someone who's actually moving tomorrow. I'm moving houses. And uh, let me tell you, I drive a Forte, so there's a good amount of space in here. However, I could see a student or anyone who's really moving make really good use of the space back here. You have a good amount of height. It's not a full SUV, but it's also not a sedan. So your opening's huge. You have a good amount of width and your seats fold down. So I'll show you with our seats knocked down. Knock down that one. Oh. <laughs> because the seat's all the way back on the passenger, I just realized. Let's get it done. The driver's seat's pretty far back too, but there we go. Ah, we got it. All right, so let's try to ignore the cargo cover here. But you can see your seats fully reclined are almost completely flat. There is a slight, slight angle, but you could sleep there if you wanted to. You can pack up your belongings in this vehicle. You can move your whole life in the Hyundai Kona, depending on how large your life is and how <laughs> heavy you pack. You may have to make a couple trips, <laughs> but still a really, really good amount of space in such a compact vehicle. So compact without the compromise, I have to say. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> all right. Under the floorboard here, we do have a compact spare tire. So again, it doesn't take up too much space, but it's really nice to have the peace of mind that comes with having a real spare tire in your vehicle. Um, on top of that, you can also get an inflator kit and put in there too. It's up to you, but still nice to have a spare. Close that. We'll close this talk about the rear a little bit so we do have a rear wiper on the Hyundai Kona and then a heated rear window Kona badge on the left in chrome and then your Hyundai badge is also showcased in chrome continue on with the theme of the front bumper we still have this uh, light gray garnish along the rear just makes everything look cohesive and put together all right let's take a look at the inside of the Kona all right I'm going around so I could just get a little bit of a view <laughs> All right. I know there's a, a bunch of funky colors, but I like it in black. So again, um, this vehicle has the price point of 22,899 Canadian, and that's pretty comparable to a couple of the Hyundai Elantra trims. I would say, depending on your lifestyle, having this size of vehicle might make a lot more sense. Um, a different way of using your space for sure. All right, I'm gonna hop in quickly. Now your seats are manual in this trim level. You can still have a height adjustment by cranking it up. You can knock it down and bring your seat lower. To move your seat closer or further from the steering wheel, there's a bar, so you just reach between your legs, lift the bar up and slide. And then for your backrest, you have this um, lever here that when you pull, will bring your seat up and you can bring it to whatever angle you like to sit best in. On the left side, sorry, our radio is on a little bit. We have our brightness adjustment that will quickly change the adjustment of the brightness <laughs> on your dash and your center screen right over here. To the right of that, we have our downhill braking assist and our traction control. Right over here is your light stock on this vehicle. So you do have automatic headlights, which is quite handy. It's nothing worse than driving without your headlights on at nighttime and everyone's high beaming you. Don't be that person. I get so mad. And now for your steering wheel, it's just a traditional steering wheel. It's not leather wrapped or heated, unfortunately, in this trim, but one trim up, you will get it. On your left side, you have your Bluetooth and media controls with even voice commands. Then on the right, we have our driver assistance features. So this little icon here is gonna be to turn on your cruise control. You use the plus and the minus to set or increase and uh, decrease your speed. And then you have your restart and your pause button. To the left of that, we have our lane follow assist. So not to be confused with lane keeping assist, which kind of ping pongs you in your lane. This is that feature I spoke about earlier that actually sees upcoming curves of the road and drives for you or steers for you. This tied with your cruise control, 
beautiful. Works so, so good. On top of that, we also have forward collision avoidance in this vehicle. Sorry, I didn't lock it in <laughs> place all the way. I swear that was the seat. <laughs> so your forward collision avoidance is gonna pick up vehicles ahead of you and also pedestrians and will warn you if there's a risk of a collision. From that, it takes it even a step further and will actually emergency brake for you if it senses the risk of collision has increased since its initial warning. So if you don't react, if you don't hit the brakes when it triggers you, it will stop for you. It's quite scary, but it is truly a lifesaver. can be a lifesaver. All right, I'll have Mike join me in the passenger side now. All right, let me close this door. Honestly, if there's one feature in this vehicle that we don't even have on, let's say like the Kia EV6. So we have almost $65,000 Kia EV6 parked right over there, which is, you know, our very, very popular electric car. You know what it doesn't have that the Kona does? Oh. A sunglass holder. Basic things like this just really make having a vehicle just so much more convenient. Um, seriously, I, I can't talk about how much I love a sunglass holder. I don't even wear sunglasses. You just, <laughs> just put other stuff in there. All right, now let's talk about actual features on this vehicle. So on your 8-inch touchscreen display, you have built-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And the beauty of this is, again, I'm comparing it to that very, very expensive EV6 out there. That EV6 has to have wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. On this screen, it's wireless. So if you forget your phone's cable at home, have no fear, wireless connection is here. As long as you have your Bluetooth on, and of course your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto set up, your phone contacts, your text messages, your Google Calendar, your Apple Calendar, your Apple Music, your Spotify, your Waze, so many apps will all be projected onto your screen here and it'll look just like your phone. So it's very, very easy to use and very convenient. It will also turn your vehicle's regular voice commands into either your Siri or your Google Assistant, making it again more convenient, more familiar, and uh, it goes into your phone, so it's a bit more advanced. All right, now for the actual system itself, you still have a lot of things you can do on here. You have your radio, of course, with AM and FM connection. On top of that, you do have Bluetooth controls and USB controls. So if you want to connect um, any sort of media playing device, you totally can into your USB right down here. On top of that, you still have regular Bluetooth connection for phone calls, so you can get calls through your vehicle, um, answer them from the steering wheel and respond to them, or just dial somebody up by saying their name, which is quite nice. Down here, we do have some physical buttons as well, so you don't have to cycle through your screen while you're driving. It's very nice to just click on a radio and go to your radio screen, same thing for setup. And you even get this star button that is a blank button when you get your vehicle. But if I give it a click now, it'll take us to our screen that lets us choose what we want it to do. So let's make it display on and off. Now when I press this, it's gonna turn off my display and turn it right back on. But you can make this do whatever you want or whatever you want from this list of options, at least. Mm. All right, just below that, we do have our air vents on this vehicle. Very sweet design, very, I don't know, streamlined. It's, it's pretty nice. We have our hazard buttons in the center and our, I was about to say media, our climate controls all around. So wrapped in a piano black finish, we have our temperature control here fan speed in the center, and then fan direction on the far right. Super easy to use, very easy to set. Just below that, we have our passenger seatbelt warning and airbag warning, as well as your AC button, your circulated air, and your heated rear defrost. Just below that, we got another USB. So this is what you're gonna use if you are charging a phone or device. It's much higher output than the USB here, which is just based for um, data transfer or media transfer. Then on the right, we have a 12 volt. So having a 12 volt up in the front area of your vehicle is pretty convenient, um, and we have it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> on the left over here, we have a drive mode select. So on the Kona, you get three different drive modes. You would just turn it like a dial, and then you'll see on our screen up here, it'll show us what drive mode we're in. So normal, sport, and smart. Normal is just gonna be your regular, or shall I say, normal drive. If I pop it into sport, it's going to give me a little red icon there in sport mode. But it's also going to change the way your engine transmission and everything responds. So it will consume a little bit more fuel. It'll hold the gear a little bit longer and it'll be a lot more fun to drive. And then if I bring it into smart, it's just going to adapt to whatever I'm doing. So if I'm taking it nice and easy on the highway, but then I suddenly, I don't know, floor it to pass somebody or just need to make some sort of maneuver, my vehicle will temporarily switch me into sport mode to allow that extra power. All right, just below that, we have our heated seat buttons. So three different levels for heated seats for the driver and for the passenger. 
and we also have auto stop and start on this vehicle. So while it is already pretty fuel efficient, that just helps a little bit more, especially when you are idling. All right, handbrake, crank it up, drop it down. It's a handbrake. Now, <laughs> um, a lot of our vehicles do have electronic parking brakes, usually when you get into a higher trim level. I'm personally a big fan of a manual one though, because you are able to control the amount of brake force that is being applied. Um, you can have it all the way up, slowly pull it up, whatever you need to do. Really fun for driving in the winter. In the snow. In the snow. <laughs> all right. Um, also in the front over here, we do have our cup holders. And then we have our center console. Nothing too fancy here, but it is a very good size center console. All right, Mike, you want to show the glove box? All right. The most important is there a part. a drum roll? No? Okay, so we've got a glove box here and no sunglasses needed to go in here because we have them up there. Um, but yeah, just your glove box, receipt holder, glove holder, winter's coming. You might want, you might have a nice pair of fall gloves or winter gloves. I'm going on about the glove box, but anyways, yeah. yes. And we have a plate holder for the front back there and then we have the manual. So that's it. I'll talk about the key before we hop in the back. It's a key, has a real one in it. Keyed ignition, very easy to use. However, you do have keyless entry, so you can lock and unlock and panic button your car from the fob itself. I will say Kia and Hyundai key fobs, they never die. Well, they do, but not mm -hmm. as quick as let's say Mazda or something. Um, seriously, the battery life on these are crazy. I don't even know why, but I think they're a very efficient key fob. That's just my little spiel. Um, I think you're right. Well, I had my Optima for almost six years and I've never changed the key fob battery once. Yeah, so. my Honda CRV, I changed that key battery three times in four years. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to come to that side because the seat's up. Actually, I should probably move this up too so we can show the full seating in the back. Yeah, right. this side's kind of tiny <laughs> for you yeah. to sit and be filming. All right, so that's probably how I'd sit if I was driving and I'm about 5'3". With long legs though, so I don't sit too close to the wheel. And I have a ton of space, so knee room wise, almost a forearm's worth of space. Underneath the seat, I did have it quite high, so there's a really good amount of height there. I might take yeah. it from you just to show. Yeah, really good amount of height for my feet. I can have them however I want, really, and I'm pretty comfy. In the center, you do have a USB, which is quite handy, and it is illuminated, so at nighttime, your passengers will be able to see where USB is. Just beside that, we do have a storage pocket, which is perfect for a phone that could be charging in said USB. And then in the very center, we have a cup holder and armrest. Just pops back in, holds nicely, and your two main seats do have car seat anchors and tethers, which is quite nice. Now, I will move to the more uncomfortable seat in a second, but let's talk about headroom first. So with me fully reclined, nice and comfy in my very, very supple cloth seats, we have a lot of headroom. <laughs> so about that much headroom for me, um, I'd say the Kona is semi-tall person approved for sure. You'd probably want to put your tallest passenger in the front, but it's fairly spacious. Now for the middle seat, again, it's not the most comfortable spot in the house, but it's still pretty good. Um, I'd still have a really good amount of headroom. My only complaint is that the center hump is a tad bit high for a vehicle that doesn't have all wheel drive. Yeah, it's a little hard to film. Let me see if I can get it from down there. Yeah, better here. Okay, yeah. so you can see my feet are quite elevated, um, meaning that I am a little bit more hunched than I'd normally like to be. And then, is the seat all the way back? Like all Pretty the way? Much, yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine a seat going back any further. Um, and it is quite reclined as well too. So this would be the worst possible seat in the house in this configuration or arrangement. Um, I wouldn't love to be here for that long, but <laughs> I could totally do it. I could live if with it. If the seat's this far back. Yeah, if the seat is yeah. this far back. Now without it, you saw how much space I had over there. Headroom wise, I'm still doing great. Shoulder room, got plenty of that. Knees are touching the backs of the seats though. I don't know how much you guys love that. Don't sit behind a yeah. seven foot person. Don't sit behind Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I think we'll take a look at some of the questions, see what you guys have to say about the Kona. Shaq's not jumping in a Kona. <laughs> He's way too big for that. All right. I saw one question, does it have auto hold? This model does not have auto hold. No, auto hold's typically only used in our vehicles that do have an electronic parking brake system. 
Um, I don't know why it's not casting to that screen right now. It's Let's see. Super annoying. Uh, any news on the 2024 Kona EV for Canada? I hope this is the last one that I film and the next one you see I was going to say that yeah, too. Yeah, I hope this is the last one that I film, but uh, honestly, guys, oh optimistically, God. two weeks, maybe we'll get one in, but we're looking at fall, right? So I'm hoping that this is the last one. And of course, when that comes in, um, you'll get you'll get a couple months of Kona, 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 Kona pricing, features, changes, everything. I know there's going to be a, a, quite a few changes to the design and the size. Uh, so yeah. I'll keep that a secret until then. <laughs> Joseph said, Mike, hey, Naku, I know you're Filipino, but I noticed Gabby Asian squats more than you. I can Asian squat. Look Just at this. So do Come it. on. Just like when I was in, no, that's not an Asian squat. This is a real Asian squat. Hey, I got to show my feet, right? Like that, right? Gabby does this. I do that all the time. But you're in heels, so on your toes. You can't be on your toes. It's on the heels like this. If Just this like is that. a way to give me to take my that's shoes off, it's squat. not happening. Real Asian squat. I did that in Asia. <laughs> You've seen me when I'm just waiting for something. I usually just squat on the floor. Yeah, but heels don't count because in okay, heels okay. is like heels is like this. Like you're on your tippy toes, and that's not an Asian squat. An Asian squat is flat foot like that. Stay there. Okay. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. All right. Um, I just wanted to thank you for your great channel. Made the decision very easy for our new 2024 Seltos EX all-wheel drive and Lunar Orange. Keep up the great work. Congratulations, Kathy. I'm so happy on your new, you got your new vehicle, and I'm very glad that we were able to help you out in that. Look at that. Mike is correct. Legit Asian, half. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Pricing for the Kona EV for Canada hasn't been released yet. No, not for the 2024. No, not yet. Hopefully very soon. Um, love the new star, Gabby. Oh my goodness. I When you what? I think they're talking about my mistake video. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. That's not even her real voice now. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm joking. No, I'm saying. Um, I still have it open in my other tab. MG, close that tab right now. Please. Um, Dale said, I'm here for the Sportage reviews. The rest are gravy. Oh, <laughs> um, greetings from Lake of Bays. I saw the 2025 Kia Telluride supposed to be an EV on Automag's website. I'm at the hospital in Huntsville watching from my tablet. Thanks for the video. Thanks for watching, mm -hmm. Stephanie, and I hope everything's okay. Yes. Steven, sorry. Um, let's see. Kevin said, 22,000. I thought every car started at 50K. No. We have some great value vehicles, both on the Kia side and the Hyundai side. And we try our best to talk about those just as much, but sometimes, I mean, it really depends on what cars we're receiving mm -hmm. at the lot. Exactly. So, um, let's see. I'm still very surprised, even with the essential, like, heated seats. Mm -hmm. I'm more the impressed wheel, with the, the lane assist and forward collision assist. avoidance, yeah, all that stuff. Great standard features in this vehicle. Uh, let's see. Checking out. Have a great day. Thank you for watching, Carlos. Um, <laughs> please make some more outdoor driving videos before summer is over. I want to, but we need cars that we're allowed exactly. to drive. We'll just do cars with handbrakes <laughs> during the winter. And we'll see what Gabby's talking about. Yeah, well, I think winter drives would be good too. Yeah. To show how our all wheel drive and front wheel drive vehicles perform. Um, I think we should probably end off today's live video. Yeah. We okay. don't have that many questions coming in today. Um, actually, sad like count hit the button. Yeah, the like count is a little bit sad. Let's talk about that for a second before we end off today's video. Please like the video. <laughs> yes, please um, like the video. But seriously, liking this video and sharing it if you have anyone that would might want to watch it. I wouldn't share it to just random people though. See, likes let the owners know that people like us. So if we don't get likes, no, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you guys like the Kia and Hyundai content, please yes, like this yes. video. Like it legitimately if you like us and the content. And uh, You don't I mean, have to like us as long as you like the, the content. If you like, yeah, don't like if you like me because then it's going to be thumbs down. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, thank you so much for joining us today and all the past videos it's nice to see so many of our regulars on here um yes kevin said likes for the squat yes. yeah honestly likes for the squat yeah, likes for the maybe squat. We'll, we'll both do a little there we go 
I'm doing the Asian one, authentic. <laughs> I'm doing the Portuguese one. Oh, there you go. There's that answer right there. Oh, yeah. Hey, Gabby, are you Portuguese? No. Just kidding. Yes. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye-bye.